What's up, everybody? My name is Spock Holiday, and welcome back to part four of the medium. Now, where we left off, my recording was kind of messing up, so we stopped when we were trying to find the two other people's faces and still trying to avoid them all. So hopefully we will be able to avoid him, find these people's faces for him, and set their souls free. So let's go. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. That's offensive. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Probably. Probably. All right. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The... Yeah. That name, no. it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Jeez. Talk about control. I guess, well, I can go into her room now. Is there something else I need to get while I'm in here? This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! That's not uh, creepy at all. No, not pleasant. And still no name. There's gotta be something. Something. Maybe anything. Who knows? That's Vivian for you. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. I've got nothing either. George's house, mum, in Neva Resort? That's where we are. Alright, what else do we got here? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Headband or something? I still don't. Just words. Sounds without meaning. I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. It's kind of like a smell. Is it a smelly smell? It smells. Smelly. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, do I? Can I? Wait, can I not go back through here? It's not. Okay. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Who knows? It could be either. Or not. Now I can maybe go back. Or is it now that I can go through this door? I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds, Sounds without meaning. 
And I still can't run. So, so that's, that's always a good time. Oh, oh nothing else here. Nah, nah maybe. Maybe not. Is there any other thing that we can do here? Oh. Uh, I'm just missing stuff all over this, aren't I? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Okay. Well then. Now let's see if we can back. I'm beginning to think that going that way is not the way back. Is there anything else in here? That at some point, I think. Ah, there's something on the ground, huh? Partial numbers that probably go in this partial book. Ah, here we go. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. He's slippery. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. I don't think you need to be a medium to see much of this. If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Okay, I've had stuff here. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. A big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. 
frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... what? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Well, I can't believe it. Alright, now, now can I go somewhere? Can I go out this door or something? That's what it took. Ooh, that mirror spooked me. Something like that. It wasn't fan. Anything back here? Probably just that boarded up area. Ooh. Aha! Oh! What? Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Let's try not to find them all. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Me either. Back to the real world they go. Uh, now if I can remember which way. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. Very uh, ridiculous of you, comrade. This is All right, it's okay. Good. It's okay. You can be free now. Thank you. Thank you. She's very into making sure that okay. people's names are known. One, down, one to go. Better get to it. Yeah, yeah. chip chop. Let's go. Well, at this point, I'd rather not. Oh, big bitch is gonna be there. What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died, okay? I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Ah, uh, so in order to set their souls free, she needs the face and the name. Oh, well, this looks like a whole bunch of places to hide, doesn't it? Hide behind. Right. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. Yes, I do. Would you like that we have a flashlight? I need to take more time going through this so I don't miss the clues. I gotta go. The boating's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. What guy? Oh, uh, uh, kind of died, hey. That's the guy. Nope. Cool. Is that letter? Can I pick up the letter? Oh, it's supposed to be. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Boris. Boris. I'll tell you that right now. 
also why do the crossed out absent ones on top have that but not Boris? Maybe it is Boris. Oh, did it have the names on the chair or on here? Yeah, yeah. Seven. Okay, there's gotta be something about the chairs. Nine. Astra has a story. Tell. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Damn, Damn Boris. Okay, okay so he sat, sat across from Boris. So that, that means... Come back here. Boris, Boris was a nine. nine. So, so we gotta find what she was across from. I'm just... Seven, five, nine. So that means it's this one. Right here. Just forward. I was at least partially right. Boris did have something to do with it. So, four is Nicholas. Nicholas. Obzirk. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat oh. number nine. I guess I, uh... I was supposed to do that first. And then do I get to come over here? This is it. There we go. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Oh. Now I've got to go back and look at the name list again. It has to be narrated the first by her. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. Uh, of course. Save. Save, so you know what that means. Here comes Maul. Yeah, I 100% walked right, literally right into that one. So, sorry about that. Play this smarter. And like I said before, I need to quit rushing through things. Right next to me, if he's behind me. Where do we get to kill him at? But I have a feeling like crossing over is going to be a terrible idea. Here we go anyway. Oh. This isn't going to end well. I just have a feeling it's not going to end well. 
Doesn't sound like it ended well for any of the others at this point. So why should it for me? Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. Oh, thank you. Did it, Marianne? Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Well, anywhere is better than here. I think we're still trying to find. I think the guy's name is Richard? Yeah, yeah find Richard. Will you just let me pick you up already? So I've got to find a way in the real world to pick those up. Well, oh no. This place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. Oh, God. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? The world may never know. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Tavos. Whatever, Whatever happened to you, the test, test came back, no signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes, and I have this awful feeling that there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you, no matter what. I'll make sure that you're as happy as you can be. 450 milligrams of... Vinlefexin. That'll cheer you right up. Don't think that sounds like such a good thing. But we're gonna roll with it. Jump, jump, jump. jump. Is there a way I can get over there first? So I didn't I realized I didn't do really a search around this room at all. Oh no, another one. Quiet girl. Mr. Rakowski is being unreasonable. Put, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's st still poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet and keeps herself mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I feel like it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people are talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't just her. Maybe it was this little demon creature maul. Yes. Oh. Fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. Uh. I don't think I'm supposed to go back through there just yet. Quite a strong feeling to have. Especially before the first date. Alright, this 
just go to here. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. I think you're just going a little insane. Or a movie star. Like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. By name it is. I'd like to know what that humming in my beard is. We'll also say it's a lot easier to avoid Ma in the real world because he can't see you. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Business is sadness. a lot less dramatic than I thought it was going to be. Almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame, uh, from helplessness, from rage. Rage? Uh, it's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Okay. Hey. Why don't you... That's not freaky or anything. It, it's a day room. To play here. <laughs> it's like a test he's on the floor. Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come uh, with me so that I can keep you safe. No, no, Marianne. The sadness. Not ever again. Why did you... It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Special eyes. Uh, on we go. Onwards and upwards. I have to get a lot closer to these things than I, I think I have to. I wonder if the flesh is in the spirit world, this flesh of people he's killed. And I'm just chopping on more people. Not give me that look. Richard? Are you there? 
Here, deck. Get some moths. What? Oh, ah, there's something up here. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. But why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Huh? Like imaginary friends, probably. Throwing away grievances. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depths of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down, he agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that he would be, that he would, that it would be his chosen field, and so he started on his way to becoming an architect. First, I was rather skeptical thinking that he was throwing away greatness for more mere competence. But deep inside, I guess it was glad to be the only one bringing his visions to life. And then he met her. The painting sessions seemed fewer and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. I wonder who he is. Yeah, let's let's run, shall we? Oh, good. Ooh, almost missing. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Cool. Whoops. Is there more music? A well of inspiration. Thomas. I've always been stunned by the depths and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind could weave. The way he described them, every min 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 minute detail. It was as if he actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I don't know. It didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Someone say that I they used the boy to fuel my waning creativity. But how could I know? What is this unique perspective? This bottomless well of inspiration go to waste. That would be an unforgivable sin. So Thomas was one of the boys. No. Thomas. I guess Thomas could have been one of the children. Thomas was the guy I originally came to find, right? Locked. I just use bolt cutters. I cut the bitch off. Uh, man. Okay. Another. No, no, no. Let me check over here first. Can I go through that? Uh, yeah, I can. This place is packed with memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. A method to madness. It became a habit of honor. He'd sit down, sketchbook, at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind. The horror and the splendor of the world beyond our own. We started out as an instant exercise in imagination, and ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described me indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be burdened source of great pain and distress, but finally understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as more of a source of beauty rather than madness. So I guess Tom can see things as well. That's why him and Lily got along. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Oh, so I gotta find items to put the globe together? Great. Alright, now to journey into the moths. Oh, more music. Sweet. So I'm missing one part of the music. Is there anything else over here that I missed? Uh, 
another very special boy. I remember the time, or the first time I met him working on a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man, wide eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died and were more soft of what he'd gone through in the years that followed. He did not want to speak, and I never pressured him. But soon it became clear he had no one else in the world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Is this Richard talking about Thomas? Maybe? Okay. Let's get back to these malls. Oh, I hope I have stuff left. Do I not have any? Oh, no. Um. Well, it's like I've got to find a. I don't remember what they call it. Something to charge up my energy. Or not. Or not works too. I know what I can do. That locked door. I've got to go into the spirit world only at the door. There we go. Is that something? What? Ah, part of the globe. That is. Okay, there's something else here, but I've got to get to it in the human or the real one. I guess. Now I can come back. Oh, what? When did what? What the hell? No, come on. Oh. So close. There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. So, so Ursula sketches hell. I think we've all came to that conclusion. Just to align them? Hey! Oh, what? Oh, it's a face! I'm so stupid. So I gotta get this. So I gotta get this to the middle. I need that to the top. Oh, okay, no. I think those are the eyes. Well, 
one more? Nah, oh, poop. Oh, there we go. Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Oh, that's neat. So I'm not super great at puzzles in games, so I hope me struggling brings you at least a little bit of joy. And we're saved. I always hate the sign that we're saved. Ah, oh, good, good. Sparks too weak to absorb. <laughs> it's like it's missing something. It's always missing something. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? I thought we already discussed that Lily and sadness are one and the same. Am I wrong? There's uh -huh. the key. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Chop, chop, chip, chip. Alright, come on. Ooh, move it, move it, move it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, it's not. This is the same. Um, now I can at least go over here. Unlock this because there was something that I saw when I went to Ghost Mode. Oh, that I needed. Also, something. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. As, As it usually happens. happens. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. I missed that. I didn't mean to miss that, but I missed that. That should be all the pieces of the score now. I'm guessing that that's the part that uh, was the missing puzzle piece. Or to that. Put it on the piano so we can get the power of the happiness. Ooh. So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Echo? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. I understand you, so. Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. That's not okay. Growing apart. Once he got engaged, we grew apart. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and in intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as he can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When it came to when the project came along, the one I would eventually be 
one that would eventually be no Neva out. I pulled my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the close. He was the closest I had to his son. I think Richard's talking about Thomas. And maybe once... No, it would have been Thomas and Curse a lot. Well, let's get back to this power source. Anyway, put that on there. And collect all of this. Mouthful. I guess one zap does me good. Wow. wow, that is extremely loud in my ears. Look down. This isn't going to end well. What the hell is that outside? Those are hands. I don't like the hands. There's another memory. Uncle Richard! My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and pedophilia. You never know. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. We're gonna find the secret to Maul? There's the ribbon. No! I didn't mean to! Oh god! What have I done? It feels... What have you done? What did you do, Richard? Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Show me something. <gasps> God fucking damn it! I could 
protect her. Idiot! What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. Things have fallen apart. Our love is timeless. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You won. What? Fuck! So Thomas is either a medium or a sociopath. Oh no. Look who finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. You know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh. Thanks for that, by the way. Hell of a way to treat your soul mate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? Uh, what? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? It's like he's obsessed. What has he... What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. No. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, 
I will kill him. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me I didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas... I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. No one here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear. I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. Oh, here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Okay, so they both got that medium thing going on from what I got from that. And... Richard possibly is the cause for Maul. This cancer has spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Do I get to play as Thomas now? Or do I have to look for Tom? Oh, I am playing as Thomas now. Free Richard from his demon. All right, well, I think that's the perfect place to end this episode. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Uh, there's There was a lot to that episode, a lot to ponder from it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And so I will see you all in the next video.